Hello, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see how to handle databases using VBScript. Before going to the script part of it, I want to show you the database itself. So I have created a simple access database. It's right here. Let me open that. This is a my test database. This is in d colon my test dot mdb. Within that I have a table called employee. There are right now four records one, two, three, four, employee ID, employee name, salary. So there are four columns ID, employee ID, employee name, salary. This ID is a sequential number. This is what you can give. Uh, integer column, then this is string, this is salary. There are four records in this one. In order to access this database from your VB script, you need to have something called a DSN, data source name. This data source name is created through control panel, administrative tools, data sources. This is ODBC connectivity. If you go to the ODBC connectivity, I have already created a user DSN data source name, this MyTest, M-Y-T-E-S-T. -E if you see here, this MyTest points to the D colon MyTest.MDB, that particular access file. So you need to have the database installed in your machine. At the same time, you should have a DSN in your machine created. Then you can access that through VB script. There are certain simple things that you need to follow. Here, I am creating a DSN. Pretty much like you have file system object or Excel object, create object adodb.connection. The adodb.connection is a pre-built object, object type. We are creating an object of that. Once you create that object, then you can say that object.open my test. My test is the DSN. Okay. My test is the DSN that you have created in control panel data source ODBC. Once you create the object and then that object dot open that particular DSN, after that you can create, you can execute any query. Right now I am executing a query select star from employee. All it needs is that objdb whatever that you have created as an object that objdb dot execute within brackets the query but when you say select query it will return multiple records I have shown you in access there are multiple records there are four records already there that records will come to a record set object so in the record set object I need to loop through how many records are there how many columns are there because when you select a record it's a row and column so what I'm doing is, while not of end of file for that particular record set, it may return multiple rows. So as long as there are rows within that record set, what we are doing is, within that there is a for each, this is a little different loop, for each field in that record set dot fields. So these are all pre-formatted stuff, that record set dot fields will return the number of columns. We have seen employee ID as a field, employee name as a field, salary as a field. So each one is a field. So for each row, for each field, that field dot name, field dot value, print that. I am taking it as a message. I am printing that. Once you finish one row, all I am saying is that record set dot move next this will go to the next record. So as long as there are records, while there is no e end of file, it will keep on repeating for all the records. Within the rows or the records, it will go through all the fields or all the columns. Then it will come out. As usual, you need to make sure that you have to close the connection. You need to release the objects. Now let us execute this select query, see what happens. So now I'm executing it started retrieving the data. There are four columns, ID equal to 1, employee ID equal to 101, 
employee name equal to John, salary equal to 2000. This is the first record. Now, second record, ID 2, employee ID 102. This is the third record. Then this is the fourth record. So it loops through each of those records and then taking it out. Now, let me open that file itself. It has shown four records to you. Now you see 101, 102, 103, 401. There are John, James, Raju and Julia, four records. So it is able to get those records from the DB itself. So any time you are using a select query, first create the object, open that particular DSN, record set equal to dot that obj db dot execute, the select query, then this is a standard loop. Right now I am assigning to a variable msg, you can assign to any variables. Now what I want to do is, I want to first insert a record. Okay. I want to insert a record, then I want to retrieve those records. See whether that newly inserted record also appears here. Now let us see this one. Insert into employee, this is that objdb.execute, this command doesn't change. Instead of select, I am giving insert, employee id, employee name, salary column. Now I am giving 901 and then I am giving a name called uh, Abdul salary equal to 8000. So first I am inserting a record, then I am doing a select. Let us see whether that insert takes effect. Now I go back. ID 1, this is for John. Now this is employee ID 102. Now this is employee ID 401, Julia. After this record, I expect the newly inserted record. This is the fifth record. Employee ID 901, Abdul, salary 8000. So the record got successfully inserted. Now let us go back to access and then see whether that really is present in the data table. Yes, when you open the access file, the newly inserted record is there in the access table. This can, right now I have created the DSN for access. You can use the DSN for MySQL or uh, MS SQL Server or Oracle. All you need to do is create the ADODB connection object, open that DSN, that object dot execute. It can be select query, insert query, update or delete. If you are doing a select query, it returns multiple records. You need to have loops to record rows. Within the rows, you need to make sure that you are, rec you are retrieving all the columns. Make sure you close the connection. Make sure you release the objects at the end of the script. So this is how to handle databases through VBScript. Thank you.